Hello fellow Koreans, welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. Today we're on Doctor Who, Attack of the Starman. Um, the end is the Doctor is finally uh, fixing the cars at uh, Canadian circuits. Uh, it doesn't really uh, go that well because it just like, it takes stars a while to pick an image that, that suits its surroundings. Even a search or organ. Uh, um, the period when he's sort of Dr. So Debbie like, doing that since he still feels like uh, he's still uh, being able to stable from his uh, regeneration. And of course, uh, Dr. takes offense to that. Um, there's no reason he, he thinks he's unstable because. He didn't get her name right a few times, like call him Connor, I read Jamie, Joey, uh, Tegan, or uh, Susan, and, and another name I forget, apparently he hasn't taught that person in years, and I don't even know what that's supposed to be a reference to. And uh, Litton is back in this episode. If you don't remember him, uh, he's got to help the Daddies get the uh, Davros out of uh, space jail in the Fifth Doctor's uh, Davros story. And in this, he seemingly wants to hold a bag heist to steal diamonds, but you know. That's you look for the Cyberman. And the same kind of play that the Cyber Leader in the uh, Renzo Cyberman and Earthshock is back. And apparently, uh, the uh, Cyberman has to sell a time ship. Um, when you figure out the Doctors uh, is here or on Earth in 1985. Decided to see his TARDIS because the thing is going to spare. I mean, um, they kind of like that uh, Doctor did get the right year and the uh, place with Flam on TARDIS, but he and uh, Perry are just uh, floating near a uh, uh, Hades Comet. Yeah, it keeps on a Hades Comet for some reason. Also, I'm pronounced hateable. Whatever. And somehow the the sort of uh, get into the TARDIS before the doctor does. I don't know. And I do like the references to so, uh, some pa past uh, Simon stories, like the Simon in the in the sewers, which is reference to the invasion, and later on. This I meant force Doctor to bring them to Teros, which is a, a, a reference to the tomb of Cybermen. And Cybermen's plan is to use the time ship to uh, rewrite history and destroy Earth in 1985 so Mondas, well, Mondas can survive in 1986. Yeah, apparently, yeah, apparently uh, the pet planet that came in like day six. Yeah. And people think that the timeline for the unit stories are don't make any sense. But mm. anyway, uh Doctor and uh, Perry do have find a police officer in the sewers before they go to the TARDIS and they see that he he just gives them like a, uh, a, a cavity search or sort of search them. But apparently, there are these other two uh, uh, police that uh, were following the Doctor and Perry, and Doctor actually beats one up in the sewer and pops out with the, the police hat on and puts put someone in cups. Um, maybe there's. They're like robots. Some, some, I don't know. 
and uh, these two guys that want to escape the the Cybermen's uh, workforce on Teros. Since uh, when Cybermen are done with their plan of saving Mondas, they plan to uh, commit genocide on uh, Teros by exploding the whole place. But the Kratians, 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 the inhabitants of Teros, they can't survive in the surface and look like old men, like like a bleach white old man. I don't know. And turned out that the Link or a uh, Litten was actually hired by the. Uh, uh, Qualitans or whatever to take care of the Cybermen and either destroy or steal the time ship. Uh, only one of his uh, gang actually survived and he's really annoying since he has to explain what he means to the Cybermen. Mm. Um, when the Doctor and Perry are prisoners of Cybermen uh, Litton and the Doctor actually have a few conversations with the Doctor and Aunt Maria liking Litton as what happened in the, or with uh, Davros and uh, Litton just uh, liking the Doctor uh, uh, struggling when he's telling about uh, telling about uh, Mondas and later on the Doctor finds out that it was the Time Lords that sent them to uh, Earth 985 since uh, when the Doctor was thinking of going somewhere else, like somewhere relaxing with Perry, some happened to tire that it got it off course or something. Yeah, the Doctor is really happy since he says he like to have more information for getting the the uh, assignment, and I'd say he's kind of correct, like. Uh, the two times, or a few times, but uh, the doctor was uh, given a task by the time of duty, sort of like uh, in the uh, in the uh, the second episode of uh, the autons uh, appearing and the master, the first episode, and in Genesis the Daleks and Time Lords actually showed up before, uh, like it's give them his assignment or warn him about something, not to say give him in, in, in for a whim or in a whim, whatever. And as he meets one of the uh, Crystal Tayans named Flask, I don't know, and see this reveals that there's this uh, explosive mineral in the Terros that can destroy the Sidemen and Trying to sell their their in, and uh, they're full of it. And uh, the doctor uses his uh, sonic lance that uh, Linton gave him to warm the mineral up, since it needs to be over uh, 15 degrees Fahrenheit to explode. Yeah. And uh, Flash decides to give up her uh, life to destroy the Cyberman since they're going to take uh, being uh, like a servant to them anymore or being a prisoner. Dean says it's been a, a long time since that company. And um, Perry meets some other uh, the Quotations, whatever. Yeah, I can't remember, I can't remember the name. Yeah, this is the two part episode, and I can't remember that many tanks. I don't know why it would make a four or five part. Mm. Anyway, yeah, uh, Lit has to get cast by the Cyberman and about to be uh, turned into one. And when the Doctor hears that, he decides to go after uh, Lit and then he also finds out that he's actually working to help the Quilletan or. Uh, the cyber crawler actually uh, turns up, and yeah, he's a uh, or the cyber crawler is still uh, around. Apparently, he's only uh, he wasn't destroyed; he's only a little bit damaged. And I have to, I have to say, this, the cyber crawler in this will look as good as the one in the 
two and a side manner to aid a steel. I feel like that's also better, better design, even though the side recorder and the two and a side man say head looks like a we'll say down that ice cream cone. And there's a fight between the Doctor Litton and uh, the Cyberman and Controller. And then dies and the Doctor wants to try and save him but Perry's telling him that this lady's dead and that sort of ends with the flask uh, getting the mineral to explode, destroying the Cyberman and the Doctor just regretting my uh, uh, give him letting the benefit of the doubt or let him explain his uh, plan even though he did uh, ask him what his plan was when they were prisoners but I don't know um, this episode is okay I like, do, like I said I do like the references to the past or from the past as uh, Sidemen stories um, the is good seeing the the refrigeration units from uh, Tomb of Cyberman again. Um, I do like the piece of music that goes with the Cyberman in this, but that's the only good uh, piece of music there is in the episode. The other uh, piece of music will sound a little bit goofy for a really dark story with a lot of people dying. Since uh, the two guys trying to escape, and the only main member of that uh, Linton's crew has to be killed by Cybermen, and that uh, something to do with the time ship. Mm -hmm. oh, um, I don't know if Linton's actually redeemed in this way he did in the Derek episode, but it's pretty good uh, acting by the guy. Um, I think that uh, Colin Baker was a uh, good in this role, yes. He's still a bit the same the arrogant uh, person that he was in the Twin Dilemma. But he did have a bit of, uh, of his Cairn side in this, like, get when uh, he's aiming to flash that if he, if he goes outside, then uh, he'll probably die, or if he opens the door and Kills the guards, so probably die or something like that. And um, when he just regret, regrets what uh, he put a uh, written through, not giving this a chance. And that was playing Perry was kind of good, but he seemed like a, a bit of a whiner at times. And I think so, almost gonna cry at some points. But uh, I do kind of like when I'm seeing Dr. Terrain and the police officer in the sewers. That's kind of good. Alright. And uh, what else? Um, yeah, that's about it. And um, next week is it. I'm going to review a, a third Dr. So there's one I haven't seen in a while, I can't remember that much about it, but it has a scary space suits in it, so probably good. And then until next time, I'm a suit. I'll see you guys later.